here in the studio with Kitty. Um, today I want to show you uh, a number of different uses for the plastic picture frame. Um, a friend told me that you can't get these anymore at AC Moore, well, but that, this isn't, I'm in Massachusetts so I don't know. You could probably find them online. But <laughs> I was fortunate, a friend of mine donated I'm going to guess a hundred of these, all different sizes, and over the last few months, um, I've just sort of been incorporating them into my studio, um, different projects, and finding um, all kinds of uses for them, and they're just, they're just amazing, all the different things you can do and how helpful they've been to me. Um, so they come like this, with the cardboard stuck in them, you take it out, and it's, it's an acrylic, it's a plastic. Uh, they come in, um, I have, as far as I know, 3x5, 4x6, 5x7, 8x10, and there's probably other sizes. Um, but those are the ones I've been using. Um, I teach arts and crafts, so I'm always looking for ways to, um, I make a lot of things and then I need to store them because my studio is not that big. Um, one of the things I make is... Um, heatable, these moldable foam stamps, and I use both sides, and I just happened to discover that they fit in the 4x6 perfectly, like that, and what's great about this is it keeps them from getting crushed, dirty, and you can see, I could even have something, a name written on the side, and also, before I put that away, they get the right size. They stack. And you could also store other things in them. Stamps, stamp pads, whatever you can find, whatever you whatever you need, little things that you need to stick away and keep organized. Um, another thing, um, I'm teaching a class in a couple weeks. Uh, make your own art stamps. And uh, I don't even know how I figured this out. How I discovered this probably something I saw online. Um, the peel and stick foam sheets, and I did get, the, I'm pretty sure, well, it's AC Moore Michaels. I, I go to both stores. I can't keep them straight, so the things that I get there. Um, you cut, I cut them out, different shapes, and then they, they're stick, they stick on the back, so you just, peel, you know, you peel off the sticker and put them down. And you can use, you can do these with cards, um, uh, jelly plate, and what I love about it is when you are using them as a stamp, say on a card, you can see through. So you can see what you're doing, and that is super helpful. Uh, one of, oh yeah, and this, this is, I already taught, I've taught this class a couple times. Um, I'm sure many of you are familiar with jelly printing. And I, like so many people online, um, have tried making um, their own jelly plates, homemade jelly plates. And it took me a while to figure it out that this is absolutely perfect because it's, it's perfectly rectangular, um, there's no holes in it, and it comes in different sizes. So it was also helpful as I made them it's not good for storing because if you know anything about jelly plating, you, you've got to keep it covered and um, in something non-porous. Well, this is non-porous, but something that, um, see what happens here is I try to get it in and out and I start ripping it apart. So, But it's perfect for, like I made them in this, brought them to class, stacked them, so that was great. And then reconstituting, like when it gets messed up and you need to rip it up and nuke it again, you just put it right back in here. So that worked out really well. Um, and speaking of jelly plating, uh, Jelly Arts just came out with three new sizes, circular sizes, four, six, and eight inch round jelly plate. And um, I do have the eight inch one. Um, but what they did is they showed a video and she used probably an acrylic mounting stamp thing. I'm not sure, but I thought, geez, it looks just like one of my things. So what I found is it is helpful for it to be clean in order to stick 
it, you won't have the suction if you don't. And then once again, when you you can make do what you want here and use it as a stamp. And you can see it doesn't fall. And the cool thing is, is I can see through and I can see what I'm doing. So when you're doing multiple ones on a piece, it's just really, really helpful. Um, and because these are non-porous, you can use them with alcohol inks. Alcohol inks are good for working on um, lots of things, but as long as it's non-porous, glass, plastic, eggshells. Um, so for ha-has, since I have so many of these, I thought I'd experiment with the alcohol inks. And I try to do something representational, less abstract, and just experimented with it. And it, I found it kind of um, easier because it was within these walls. So when I was, you know, blowing the ink, it didn't go all over the place. Um, I think it looks pretty good on the screen, but it's, it's sort of see-through. So I ended up putting paper behind it. I suppose you could just put this behind it and you'd have the white. So, so that's kind of cool. Actually, I, I think I like that better. Um, this was just my first time. I wouldn't, this isn't anything I think is great or anything, but it was a great experiment. And one last thing, um, when you take them apart, they, they have these in them. And since I don't throw anything away, I cover them with gesso and then just fool around and experiment, um, with inks and whatever, because... I'm just using a little bit, and these don't cost me anything, so. Um, okay, that's it for today, um, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for stopping by.